what's up everybody welcome back to another video from exotic astrology and today we are in this dark place it's pitch dark it's dead dark there's nothing visible yes but still there's light enough to make a video <laughs> So today we are starting with a new series on overcoming darkness. Yes, because that is the ultimate purpose of spirituality and astrology too. As I always say, astrology is referring to Jyotisha. Jyotisha means Jyoti and Ish. Jyoti is light, Ish is God himself. So Jyotish leads us to God okay it is the light that leads us to God ultimately which means it also dispels the darkness okay now why am I making this series because there are times when we feel that everything is pitch dark nothing is visible I am so confused what should I do I don't know, I feel helpless, I feel lost, I feel drained, I feel weak, I feel pathetic, I feel miserable. I don't want to live. Have you ever heard these words? <laughs> Have you ever heard this or these are the only words that you keep hearing all the time? <laughs> well, that is for you to decide. Now, what to do when such difficult situations come in a person's life? Should we just sit and cry and do nothing and just be helpless and to live as if we are hopeless and helpless? Or should we cry or should we not cry? Let us see what the ancient scriptures has to say about a person who is undergoing through some kind of a similar situation like which I just described. Okay, The Bhagavad Gita which is the most reverential book of the Vedic tradition entitles us with Entitles us with what? <laughs> entitles us with the freedom of loving God. Okay. It does not deny us the freedom. It does not say if you do not love God, you will go to hell. Okay. At the same time, it is very important that we use our free will in the right way. Okay. Which also means to say that when we use our free will in the right way, then we understand what is direction, what is goal, what is positivity in life. Okay. I will quote some verses pertaining to this matter, especially from the Bhagavad Gita, where Lord Krishna says, Ishwara Sarva Bhutanam Riddeshe Arjuna Tishthati Brahmayam Sarva Bhutani Yantra Rudhani Mayaya Brahmayam Sarva Bhutani Brahmayam Sarva Bhutana What this means? What this shloka means? Ishwara Sarva Bhutana Rid De She Arjuna Tishthati Krishna simply means in this shloka that Oh my dear Arjuna, because he is speaking the Bhagavad Gita to Arjuna in the battlefield of Kurukshetra. So Krishna speaks to Arjuna that I am seated in the heart of every living being as the super soul, as the Paramatma. Okay, so this is a very hope giving verse. Which means to say... Even when we, we feel that we are lost, we are actually not lost. We can 
get direction in life when we approach God yes and when we go and surrender to him and surrendering means doing what he says when you say that I surrender or not when you when the thief or the criminal says to the police that I surrender to you hands up <laughs> what does it simply mean it simply means that I will do whatever you say right so if the police says put your gun down then he puts his gun down yes if the police says put your hands in the back then he puts his hands in the back okay so surrender to God simply means that we follow his instructions which he has detailed in the Gita in the Quran in the Bible in the Torah in the Dharmapada and in various other scriptures okay whichever tradition we are born we do not need to consider which tradition we are born because every tradition is bona fide and authorized okay by meaning every tradition I don't mean any spiritual practice or anything that you hear in this world <laughs> I mean to say that the prominent religions of this world they are bona fide ways to approach God okay irrespective of whichever tradition it is and all of them can lead us to God irrespective of our current situation that's the best part start wherever you are okay for example if you take the case of the Bhagavad Gita what does Krishna say Yogi nama pi sarvesha madgate nanta ratmana shraddhavan bhajate yoma same yukta tamo mataha Krishna says among all the yogis who is the most supreme yogi nama pi sarvesha he who always thinks of me is the greatest of all yogis <laughs> always thinks of me he is the greatest yogi yes there is nobody greater than you if you do it <laughs> so that means when you think of God 24 hours if you extrapolate this principle to every other religion there is not much difference so when you think of God, when you think of the personalities who have tried to influence people by God's grace, by God's blessings, by reading the scriptures, okay, then you understand who God is. And by that you will know how to go close to Him. understand so that is it from my side in this video I will do more videos on darkness okay until next time bye bye see you and if you have not subscribed to my channel then please subscribe to it and share this introductory video on darkness or rather overcoming darkness with everybody else until next time bye bye see you have a great time